Uh, welcome to Center of Mass Problem of the Week. For this week's Problem of the Week, we uh, want to find all functions that are sending positive reals to positive reals and satisfying the functional equation f of x of f of y equals y of f of x. And as x goes to infinity, f of x goes to 0. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is establish that f of 1 equals 1 is a fixed point. So So plugging in x equals 1, we can get f of f of y equals y times f of 1. And then uh, we plug in y equals 1 there to get this equation, f of f of 1 equals f of 1. And if we plug in y equals f of 1, we get f of f of f of 1 equals f of 1 squared. And so using these two equations, we can say f of 1 squared equals f of f of f of 1, which equals f of f of 1. Uh, by using this one here. Using it again, we get f of f of 1 just equals f of 1. So f of 1 squared equals f of 1. f of 1 has to be positive, so f of 1 equals 1. So that establishes our first fixed point. Now if we plug in uh, x equals y, we have f of x of f of x equals x f, f of x, which means x is, f of x is always a fixed point. Now, I note if x and y are both fixed points, then then f of x times y equals x times y. We get this from our original functional equation, which means x times y is also a fixed point. So if we have a fixed point greater than 1, call it x. That means x squared is a fixed point, x cubed is a fixed point, x to the n is a fixed point. And so we have fixed points as large as we want. But this contradicts that as x goes to infinity, f of x must go to 0. Because uh, for each fixed point, uh, we have points getting arbitrarily large. So we, this limit would not apply. So we can't have fixed points greater than 1. So now uh, we want to establish, similarly, we can't have fixed points less than 1. So Plugging in f of y equals 1 over x. So if we say f of y equals 1 over x, which also implies uh, y equals f of 1 over x, uh, we plug that in here. This becomes f of 1. This becomes f of 1 over x. So f of 1 over x times f of x. Uh, equals 1, but assuming x is a fixed point, we can say 1 over x equals f of 1 over x. So 1 over x is also a fixed point. And so now we, if x is less than 1, 1 over x is greater than 1, and we have a fixed point greater than 1, which causes similar issues with this limit. So our only fixed point can be x equals 1. And so uh, because x f of, a, f of x is always a fixed point, x f of x must always equal 1. f of x must equal 1 over x. And that's the only function that uh, fits this problem. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, check out centermath.org, check out our blog, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you.